There can be no life without order. Good, evil, darkness, light. There must be balance in the universe. Such is the decree of the Charred Council, an ancient body charged by the Creator to preserve the very fabric of existence. But the balance has been broken. Even now, Earth smolders in ruin, fallen to the Demon Lords, and the Destroyer carves a new kingdom amongst his mighty chosen. Some say the Horsemen War triggered the apocalypse, that he rode to Earth unbidden and doomed all of mankind. But what of the other horsemen, fearless enforcers of the Council's will? What of fury, strife, and death? To know those names, you must first know another. Nephilim, cursed union of angel and demon. The Nephilim had countless realms to serve and burned them to ash. But four amongst them grew weary of the slaughter and feared their conquest would imperil the balance. And so a truce was made. The four would serve the council in exchange for unimaginable power. Thus were the dreaded horsemen formed. And the riders' first task was to purge their own brethren from creation, to annihilate the Nephilim and destroy their souls. Let us now cast our gaze to one amongst the four. Not war, who lies chained at the Council's feet, professing his innocence. But one who would save his brother, above all else. He has many names. Kinslayer, Executioner, Death. that he would resurrect humanity. But he knew not how this might be done. And so death rode forth into the icy veil to find the keeper of secrets.
place for a horse.
Why should I care about your brother's fate? Because you know the truth. Your secrets can save him. <laughs> <laughs> the Council will condemn war. Strip him of power, let him rot in oblivion. To hide the truth. My secrets cannot prove his innocence, horsemen. No, but they can help me to erase the crime. Bring mankind back from extinction. Madness. If it's madness, then who better to show me the way? Should a way exist, you will find it here. The Tree of Life. Let me pass.
Not yet. That which you gave me, you will take it back. In exchange for its secrets, you agreed to keep the amulet. No. The voices, they curse and threaten without end. They cry to return. You must destroy it. I cannot. You annihilated their flesh. Why do you guard their souls? Open the portal. You will not pass while I live. So be it. Here your brethren are trapped in eternal torment. Do you wish to join them? And what of war? Would you kill your brother to save your precious balance? He is innocent. Are you so certain? The uncountable worlds of our universe swirl in an endless abyss. Many worlds ravaged by time or conflict are swallowed by the abyss, returned to the nothingness from which they were formed. But others linger for eternity on the brink of annihilation, that creation might be balanced with destruction. And in the final moment of battle, Death was banished to one such world, in the autumn of its life, yet not far from the edge of darkness. Had death been sent to his doom, that answer would be found in the horseman's future and in his past. Be still, horseman. You are wounded. Don't touch me. Your arrival here is a bad omen. 
Yes. It troubles me greatly. Old one, there's more trouble ahead if you don't start making sense. Where is the tree of life? Life? <laughs> this world is dying, lad. Choking on chaos and corruption. We can do little to stop it. Soon, the great tree too shall perish, and with it, the last of my people. Is that not what brought you here, Pale Rider? I seek the tree. Your chaos and corruption don't concern me. Well, but this corruption can't be beaten with a blade. Seek out the Forge Sister. Ask her about the fire of the mountain. Help her, and she will help you reach the tree. As for me, I must return to my work. And who are you to command a rider? I am a maker, older than even the Charred Council. These hands have laid the foundations for many worlds, but that was long ago, and now they but hardly know the touch of stone. Are you not curious as to why I seek the tree? I would not presume to question one of the four, but yes, tell me. I must restore humanity to redeem war. Heaven and hell battle upon the shattered earth. All creation trembles, and at the center of it all stands your brother. He is innocent. I never said he wasn't. The tree holds power over life and death. If you would resurrect humanity, then you are headed in the right direction. Be warned. A dark presence dwells now within the tree, and the path is barred by corruption. You here, hope is not dead.
Reaper. It's about time you came. The Makers are dying, and our realm. We few are all that remain. A warrior's life is never easy, old one. Aye, not easy, but simple. I always saw my end with blade in hand, a field of enemy dead before me. And what glorious end awaits you hiding behind these gates? <sighs> you cannot fight corruption, nor can you harm it. You can only kill those it has claimed. Every blow I strike against corruption is a blow against my own people. Muse on that, Ryder, before you mark me as a coward. I can end your troubles, Maker. Well, you're welcome to try. This blade is more ancient than you, Ryder, and taller to boot. I will break it, and you down to size. Ha! 
had enough of old Bass, have we? <laughs> Surprise you good enough for to show you how it's done. to show you how it's done.
to show you how it's done. Should never go underawarded. <laughs> you got lucky. Mayhaps I am too old to do this. Age isn't everything. <sighs> so, you can fight an old warrior, but to earn your name, you'll have to do better than that. <laughs> Bathier, Echidna, Argyll, these are what we makers call death. You kill them all? And mayhaps I will grant you are the true Reaper. Sounds like a challenge. If I am to be your executioner, I would hear more of those that I am to kill. I will tell you what I know. Where can I find Bethir? Bethir and her kind once ranged across the Forge Lands, hunting us like cattle as we made this world our home. One by one, we hunted down and slayed the fell beasts. But Bathir, she made herself a deep burrow, and slithers out only to feed. I only know that she's a beast of fire and smoke, and that she's made her lair beneath the earth. What of Gorwood? <sighs> Once, Gorwood was a friend to my people. Then why seek my aid? Corruption has taken our forest, and Gorwood is a being of that old wood. Where one goes, so goes the other. Gorwood is filthy with corruption. He must be put down. Even I know the name Echidna. Why do you seek her death? An old debt, forged before your time. All know the Shadow Realm of Echidna. Why do you not travel there and kill her? I have tried, only to find her realm in chaos. The Spider Lords had bathed her throne in blood. An echidna was nowhere in sight. I spent years following her trail to the realm of the dead. Then, all this happened. I returned home to my people, and left old debts unpaid. Tell me about Argyll. Ah, the madman! 
a beast in need of killing. I had sight on the deed myself, when the current Lord of Bones rose up and defeated the mad king of the undead. Then Argyll is no more. My bones have always told me otherwise. The old king lives. I'm sure of it.
brute, damn you! We've been awaiting your arrival, horsemen. Your shadow has long hovered over this realm. Many know the Reaper, old one, but I don't know you. We are the builders of this world, but corruption seethes at its heart and destroys in days what we shaped over eons. Adard does his best to soothe our pain, but our souls yearn for only one comfort. Death, we are without hope. Horseman, do you ever doubt your future? No. So one like yourself would set out to change a fate that displeases him. That is a long and dangerous path, even for death himself. How is that your concern, Shaman? Only that I am skilled at crafting talismans. If you gather the proper materials and return them to me, I'll make a potent talisman to aid you on your journey. What do you require? Stalker's bone, mordant dew, and carven stone. It is not a simple charm. Where can I find them? Somewhere in the Forge Lands. I rarely leave Tristone, but that Pup Khan is always out exploring. He can tell you more, no doubt. Tell me, Shaman. What is corruption? I only know what I fear it to be. That corruption is hate given life, and that hate does not come from trees or stones, but from ourselves. You despair, old one, and yet raise life from the earth. I am a shaman, bound to this task even as our days darken. We are as the vines, coming to root, then to flower, and then to decay, dropping seeds upon the dust. A circle everlasting. I cannot stop it. Nor can I stop you. Tell me more about the Tree of Life. The forest around the tree has been corrupted. It hungers. You cannot reach the tree, not with breath still in you. The path of a brother troubles you. It is your past, but also your future. Stone, wood, iron, these are the gifts of the Makers. What was old is new again. Offer this to the fort. As you reap, I will sow the same black harvest.
Maker's beard. The rumors are true. A horseman in the Forge Lands. The name's Alia, and that's my brother Valis. We are the keepers of this forge. Though I reckon that means less now than once it did. This is a Maker's Forge? Nay, the Maker's Forge is lost to us. Silenced by the hands of corruption. But in its depths, we once crafted the dark towers of hell and the cities of heaven. Now you make trinkets? <laughs> and you, one of the four, now seek the aid of the Makers? I guess we've all fallen from high places. Acania seeking the tree and your elder speaks of fire. What is it? Ay, the fire of the mountain, the Stonefather's blood. It once flowed into our forge, as did the tears. Both imbued our craft with incredible power. The heart and the soul of stone. But corruption has taken them and now our forge is silent. Why does this concern me? The way to the tree is lost, barred by corruption. You can no more leave this place than we. Restore our forge, and the tree can be reached. I don't follow your reasoning. We are makers, not warriors. But we are not without our weapons. Before the forge was lost, we crafted a mighty creature of soul and stone. A colossus to fight this corruption. But to awaken him requires a maker's key. And we need our forge to craft one. Will you help us? What is this cauldron? A temple built in the shadow of Stonefather's Peak. There, the fire of the mountain was harnessed and passed into our forge. Ride east of town, ride through the charred pass and towards the cindery peak of the Stone Father. There, you will find the cauldron. Man of no words, your brother. <laughs> but hardly silent. His voice is the ring of the hammer and the roar of the white flame. Yes, he works while you talk. I may have need of a blade. Is your need greater than ours, horsemen? I think not. We fight for the survival of our realm and our kin. Prove worthy, and mayhaps we can do business. Oh, it's you, horse. Good luck. Hmm. have touched Horseman, you'll find not that way, but trouble. Do what you must for your kin, old one. For mine, I ride to the cauldron. Well, if you fancy your corruption waste deep, that's as good a place as any. You know, there's a reason this gate is here. And if you were a friend, I wouldn't have let you pass. But then, <laughs> who is friend to death? Have you wisdom to share, or was it long since knocked loose in battle? Oh, wisdom ain't like teeth. I've plenty left. Enough to stay clear of the cauldron. The ancients filled it with right nasty traps. 
But one so clever as yourself will surely elude them. <laughs> The fire is more valuable than I, horseman. You should make haste to the temple. Fire alone won't save your realm. You speak of the forge. Aye. Without the fire and the tears of the mountain, without the forge itself, we have no means to clear the forest and reach the tree of life. What then? Our power is over creation, yours over death and despair. You are Nephilim, Lord of Destruction. Perhaps in that, there is hope. Just how old is the forge? It is as ancient as the realm itself, and perhaps even older. It is said the forge was the first thing we makers built, that in its depths we shaped entire worlds.